Here's a quick setup video of the Xeon Crane 2 going with my Canon 1DX Mark II and 100mm macro lens. The gimbal itself comes in this nice soft shell case. Uh, it has a variety of accessories and pouches such as this one which holds all the USB leads for different camera brands. Uh, one tip that I love is carry a 10p coin. The amount of times I struggle to release the quick release plate. Ah, yeah, 10p coin. Um, and so that's kind of the contents. I do have other accessories, but my main setup is that. Now the batteries provide a lot of power. They uh, give you a lot of juice throughout the day, and I've never actually run out of power. Once they're inserted, you're looking at, I don't know, well basically your body will break before the batteries will run out. Uh, I've got this nice pink tennis grip, just to add a bit of uh, ooh la la. And the tripod that comes with is so useful for setting the gimbal up, as we're going to do now. So, simply screw it on. Takes takes a fair bit of time, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you can you know start spinning it in no time. Uh, I like to also get a sharpie pen. I've got metallic ones, and mark exactly where, as you can see here, my uh, my actual kind of positions need to go for each item. Here's the 10p coin in use. Get that nice and tight on the camera. Oh, it'll help if I shot the right way up. That's better. So let's mount this onto the gimbal. It's as quick and easy as follow the arrows. You slide it on and it's got a locking pin. So if the worst comes to the worst and it's undone, it won't fall out. Um, and again, I'll be having it lined up with the markers that I have already set up with a lot of painstaking time put into it. I shoot on either the 100mm macro or the 16 to 35 uh, f4 and the weight of those two lenses is quite similar so my, my markers are quite, quite close to being accurate for each lens. Um, so there's a variety of ways to get this set up. It's kind of a bit trial and error and each time I seem to set it up the markers need fine tuning just to get the right balance. But eventually, there you go. And then you spin it and it messes it up. Another technique I've found is you can also try a kind of gravity to kind of help with your balancing. If you rotate onto each axis into a vertical position like so, I think this is how you'd explain it, vertical, it's easier to adjust left and right balance until we get nice perfect balance and then just simply lock it down and you're good to go. Do that for each of the three points and you've got a very steady gimbal. The gimbal itself has got a very powerful motor in it and it can even handle the, the 1DX with a big lens on uh, if you set the motor onto a high mode. And, and it's, it's just great to get these shots with lenses that almost seem impossible to get balanced with. So this macro for example, as you can see, completely smooth, there's no jittery movements within the gimbal. And this allows us to get some real good close-up shots of the ground with extra detail. Um, blades of grass stand out while the rest of the background blurs out. Uh, here we are just showing all the variety of movements the gimbal can do without the jitters. And I'm, I'm fully impressed with the gimbal. The only downside with it all is the weight, but the main problem with that is my decision to go with this camera body and lens setup. Uh, you can use obviously a mirrorless camera or uh, a smaller crop sensor body or even the 5D and you'll be a lot better off uh, on saving your back from getting aches and pains. Um, speaking of which, I do have the, uh, the L bracket arm extension for the gimbal which helps with balancing from left to right uh, on the body but not always used. So yeah. This is basically the setup, and let's show you a few angles of it in rotation. There you go. Guys, like an episode 24. Just need uh, Jack Bauer to say, Chloe, I need the damn files. Now, let's have a look at also some footage that I've captured in the past of my dogs in the woods. Here we go. Oh, and if you like this video and you want to see more of this simple approach on my gear, uh, please subscribe, comment, like, all that jazz um, quick and easy to do and I enjoy doing it and 
who doesn't like geeking out about camera gear. See you in the next video, guys. Cool.